What's up, people? West Coast Poker Guru here with another deck review. And this time I'm going to be doing the J Design. And I haven't seen too many reviews of the J Designs on YouTube. I think there's like one or two out there. So I think it'll be a cool review to do just because not that many people do it. Now when you order these, I got these off the same place I got my Jamaica Superflexes. And you have the option of choosing two different colors. They have red, yellow, brown, green, blue, purple, and black. I got the purple and the black. And these are the bridge cards, I do believe. They have a different back design to them as I'm used to seeing on the J designs. It's kind of a, a weird back design. But it looks like kind of looks like faces right here if you hold it like that. It kind of has a little face to it and it's both sides. So I thought that was pretty cool uh, design. And these are the narrow, narrow index cards similar to the World Series of Poker cards that I did. Uh, I like these cards better. They have a better feel to them than those other ones. These ones are a little bit stiffer. They handle uh, better, I, I'd say. And you get your two J Design Jokers. And there's the Ace of Spades. That's a different design that I've seen on other J Design cards. It's a different design for the Ace of Spades. And what I like about J Design is their pips are pretty unique. I like that. They changed it up a little bit. There's the seven of spades. There's the eight. And there's the ten. So it's just a little little differences like that I think are pretty cool. Now they do have the flesh colored court cards here with the faces. And they're pretty detailed if you can see. They got a lot of detail to them. There's the king of spades. And the hearts. Just a little slight difference to the standard pips that you're used to seeing. There's the Suicide King. And here's the clubs. Slightly different design. And I like the diamonds in these cards. The diamonds, they kind of look like stars in the sky, twinkling kind of. So. Just little differences like that I like about these cards. I haven't used these cards yet. They're not broken in. But uh, eventually I'm going to put them to use. I can tell you right now that uh, I'm going to like these cards. They handle well. They spring. Not bad at all. Let's see if I could do a spread. Spread pretty good. They shuffle not bad at all. So now they do have a different version of the J designs available on that website. They have a different back to them and they have a standard. They're more of a standard size card. They're not the narrow like this one. So you, they do give you a couple options, but I think with the other design, you have to buy like six decks in one order. With these ones, uh, you can get two decks. So I just went ahead with these because I just wanted to try them out. So I'm not going to buy six decks. So I just bought 
two of these, which they're not bad. You get to pick the pick the color, like I said. And I picked black and purple. And I like these cards. I'm gonna put these to use real soon. Uh, they're not as good quality as the Super Flexes or the Jamaica other Jamaicos that I had. But I'm not knocking them. They are a good card uh, to get for your home games. So definitely check them out if you can. J Design. They got some quality stuff. And so there's my review of the J Designs. Thanks for watching.